Hey guys, it's Jamie, and I was just doing a little bit of reading here, and I wanted to share some things with you. Um, in my scripture lately, it has just been highlighted to me, the people in my recovery community, and how they are true servants and leaders for God. And so in this scripture right here in 1 Peter 5, um, it says, now I encourage you as an elder and eyewitness of the sufferings of Christ and one who shares in the glory that is about to be unveiled. Now he's in, now Peter's talking about, I encourage you as an elder. Now Peter was an apostle, but he humbled himself as a true leadership servant of Christ to be an elder in a church. Now, what people don't realize is that the higher up that you go in leadership and ministry, the more of a servant you are. <laughs> so it's not that you go up in ministry to be served. You go up in ministry to serve more. And it says here, I urge my fellow elders among you to be compassionate shepherds who tenderly care for God's flock, who feed them well, for you have the responsibility to guide, protect, and oversee. Consider it a joyous pleasure and do not, and not a merely a religious duty. So that means consider it like a happy thing that you get to help people and not like a job, you know? Lead from the heart under God's leadership not as a way to gain finances dishonestly, but as a way to eagerly and cheerfully serve. This makes me think of like home group representatives, you know, in, in the, the 12 step meetings. Do not be controlling tyrants, but lead others by your beautiful examples to the flock. And when the shepherd king appears, you will win the victor's crown of glory that never fades away. And that's just beautiful. And I want to just point out in these few verses where Peter gives us the seven qualities of a true shepherd. And these are, you know, people who are dedicated to others in the recovery community. One, they understand that they serve God's people, not their own. So your sponsees, your people in your network, they don't belong to you. They belong to God. They lovingly guide and care for God's people. They take the responsibilities of oversight willingly, meaning that they cheerfully do it. They are eager to serve and not for financial gain. We give away freely what was freely given to us. They feed and nurture God's people. That makes me really think about sponsorship. They reject a domineering leadership model. And that makes me think about like the peer movement, you know, self-directed care. They lead by examples of godliness and humility. And that right there just really, really stuck out to me. And I wanted to share that with you. You know, um, I have just been really enlightened recently in the fact that the recovery community are the hands and feet of God. And we willingly and cheerfully give away what was so freely given to us. And I'm so proud to be part of this community in recovery. And I just want to encourage you all that we're doing a great job. We're going to keep pushing and we're going to keep going. And I love you guys so much. See you soon.